Welcome to SocialTraderTools.com. This is a short video on how to copy trades between accounts on the platform. Let's begin. To add a trade copier, go to the main menu, then Trade Copier, and click Manage. In the top corner, click the Add Trade Copier button. You will now be presented with the Add Trade Copier form. In the Copy Form drop-down, select the account you wish to copy trades from. In the Send To drop-down, select the account that you want to copy trades to. You need to choose a risk type. You have four options. You could either risk multiplier by balance or equity if you wish to use a proportional lot size calculation, which means the lot size will be a ratio of the balance or equity of the two accounts. For example, if the copy from account balance is $10,000 and the send to account balance is $5,000, the send to account will trade half the lot size of the copy from account as it is half the balance. This calculation can be further adjusted using the multiplier value. Continuing the example, if we set a multiplier of 0 0.5, the send to account would use a quarter of the lot size as it is taking half the lot size multiplied by 0 0.5. Lot multiplier means the copy to account lot size multiplied by the multiplier value. For example, if we set the multiplier as 2 and the copy from account uses a lot size of 0.3, the send to account will use a lot size of 0.6. Fixed lot simply means for any trade opened by the copy from account, the send to account will always use the set fixed lot. You can select to copy any trades that are already open on the Copy From account by selecting Yes from the drop-down. If you choose Yes, when you turn the copier on for the first time, the system will attempt to open trades for each position based on the risk settings chosen. Finally, check the tick box to confirm that you've read the terms and conditions and click Create Copier. You can now see the trade copier created. By default, the trade copier is off. To turn it on, click the red stop button, choose on, and click update. From this point, any new trades will be copied. At any time, you can update the settings of the trade copier by clicking the settings button. In general, you can update the mode and set a comment, which will show in the MT4 comment column. In risk settings, you can adjust the previously set risk type. You can also set the trade copier in reverse mode, which means buys will be sells and sells will be buys. You can adjust the slippage setting, which stops trades from being copied if the open price of the copy from account varies greatly from the send to account. By default, the slippage setting is 5 pips, which should be fine for most setups. You can adjust the max lot setting which caps the maximum allowed lot size on each copied trade on the send to account. You can set force min lot, which means if the lot size is too small and not valid, it will adjust to the lot size of the lowest valid lot size. In stops and limits, you can set yes if you want pending orders to be directly copied to the send to account, or no if you want the send to account to take an at market trade when the copy from pending order is filled. You can set stop limits and take profits to be copied or not, or you can set a fixed level in pips which will be applied to the copied trade. In Disable Symbols, you can choose not to copy certain symbols from the Copy From account by switching on the switch for any pair you want disabled. In Map Symbols, you can define relationships between pairs with different names. To explain, for non-FX pairs, brokers can have different naming conventions. For example, the S&P 500 may be SP 500 on one broker, but US 500 on another. If you want non-FX trades to copy when the name varies, you need to create a map each pair and click Create Map.
That concludes our short video. Thanks for watching.